It has been five years since tens of thousands of pilgrims slept in the streets of Rome, close to the Vatican. This was so they could secure a place for the canonization ceremony of John Paul II and John XXIII. At 5.30 a.m., pilgrims were allowed to access the square, and in less than an hour, St. Peter's Square was overcrowded. The first thing people saw entering the square were the tapestries of John Paul II and John XXIII hanging from the facade of St. Peter's Basilica. It was a ceremony with four popes. This was because half an hour before Mass, Benedict XVI also came for the event. Many cardinals approached him and even the then President of Italy. Finally, just before Mass, Pope Francis arrived and they both gave each other a hug. At 10 a.m. the rite of canonization began and the Pope spoke the words everyone was eagerly waiting for. Sanctus esse decernimus e definimus, ac santorum catalogo adscribimus, statuentes eos in universa ecclesia, inter santos pia devotione recoli devere, in nomine patris et fili et spiritus sancti. Later, as is traditional, relatives of John XXIII and the woman healed through John Paul II's intercession presented the relics of the new saints. In his homily, Pope Francis reflected on how these two saints showed the world God's goodness. Sono stati sacerdoti e vescovi e papi del XX secolo. Ne hanno conosciuto le tragedie, ma non ne sono stati sopraffatti. Più forte in loro era Dio. Since Pope Francis knew the great efforts pilgrims made to attend Mass before returning to the Vatican, he got into the Popemobile to greet all those around the square and surrounding streets. The enthusiasm was so great they wouldn't even let the Pope leave empty-handed. A few hours after the ceremony, the doors of the Basilica were open and many were able to pray before the remains of John Paul II and John XXIII. It seemed that for a few hours, St. Peter gave these saints the honor of being the protagonists in this sacred place.